Do you should all over yourself? No, I mean, seriously. <laughs> I know that sounds really funny, but are you constantly going, I should eat better, I should exercise more, I should drink less, I should be nicer, I should work harder, I should change my job? Well, this show's for you. I not only have a bunch of reasons why you shouldn't should all over yourself, but I've got some really great tips this show that's going to have you actually feel great and, and being able to switch it off forever. This is Zen in a Moment. It's a podcast where you can learn to train your brain to stop stressing forever and be the cool, awesome, fabulous person you know you can be. I provide tips and strategies that move you from stressed out to in the flow, flow meaning feeling light, open, and wise. And I'm your host, Zen Cryer DeBrook, stress as guidance expert. Oh my gosh, the should, should, shoulds. Where do these come from? Well, let me tell you. They come from all the belief systems that have been piled upon you without you questioning them about what it means to be a good or a bad person. That's right. The people in our lives use shoulds to help us be better people. And in the meantime, we kind of incorporate them into our self-esteem factory. And when we are, you know, trying to do our best in the world, our brain turns on these background shoulds. The shoulds are a very, very painful way to live your life. Okay, number one is if you just even think about, just right now, just think about three things that you should be doing. Maybe you should be eating better, you should be getting the laundry done, you should be making better meals for your family, or maybe you should be advancing in your career, putting more time into that. Think about three shoulds. Now notice your energy. Notice the deflation that generally happens. In general, your internal guidance system has a tendency to close when you use the term should in your mental in your mental inner voice, right? So if you don't know what the internal guidance system is, go to zeninamoment.com. There you I have a video on the homepage that'll walk you through feeling your internal guidance system for yourself. It's a very, very powerful tool that's letting you know if what you're thinking is aligned with what's going to create happiness in your life and success or taking you away from happiness and success. All right, so here's the thing. Very often, shoulds are closing, which means it's draining of energy, not aligned, not going to make you happy. Shoulds come from a background of belief system that we incorporate without choosing it, which means it doesn't necessarily mean it's coming from something that's right for us. So what do you do with these shoulds? Because they're not all bad, right? I mean, you know, you should exercise more if it opens you. If your internal guidance system opens, then that means yes. However, this is what you do. If you close, that means you need to drop that idea. Whatever it is, I don't care. I don't care if it's making better meals for your family, advancing in your career, eating better, drinking less, being nicer. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised uh, at how many people have a fabulous little bitch side going on and they open that they should stay that way. It's, it's actually important for them and what they're doing in the world to stay strong and, and be headstrong and, and solid in what their belief system is about certain things. And it's really important. And they open that that's the right attitude to have. You'd be surprised. But my point is this, if you opens, it should turn into a desire. Instead of saying, I should, when you feel the opening about that particular thing, turn it into, I want to. I desire to exercise more. I desire to make better meals for my family. Now notice the difference when you shift it into a want to or a desire. It's often opening, especially if it was an opening thought to begin with. Now you start thinking about it in a different way. I really want to do this. When you really want to do something, not should, but want to, feel the difference. You get on the internet and you start figuring it out. You talk to people about it. You, you, know, you, you, you take action steps. Shoulds actually don't happen. Shoulds just become this list of things in the background that your critic, your inner mental critic, can use to beat you up, to show you where you're failing, where you're not doing well in your life. And that is, is exhausting to have going on in the background. That is a joy suck to have the shoulds going on in the background, where desires are a joy amplifier especially as you move forward into them. Now, here's the thing that you want to watch out. Don't let your desires turn back into shoulds. Oh, gosh, I really want to exercise more. I desire to get out there, and I want to start doing more art in my life, right? Then, you, if, you're, if you've got a plan in place, I have this great 
coloring book. It's a it's a mandala coloring book. I don't know if you know this, but I used I love colored pencils. I have this great set of colored pencils, and I color these mandalas. And it's so meditative, and they're so pretty, and it's so much fun picking the colors. And it's so easy, because I don't have to have any real artistic skill. <laughs> Except maybe a little bit with coloring, right? But it's really, really fabulous. And in the meantime, I'm d starting to play with shading and do all kinds of stuff. Well, that little desire came from me wanting to have some more artistic expression in my life. And if I am too tired, I can sit there and turn it back into a should. I should be. I should get my book out in color. You don't want to do that. Unless, I mean, you know, you want to be like, ooh, I want to, or mm, I don't want to tonight. I don't feel like it tonight, right? So it's really important that you pay attention to your shoulds and a lot of them you're going to drop. That's the second piece of it. If it closes you, if your shoulds close you, if you say I should exercise more and it closes you, it's not time in your life to exercise more. We only have so much time in our lives that we can spend on particular things. There's only really, really 16 hours in a day. For some of us, 20, but that's really hardcore. 16 hours in a day, and there's a lot to be done in that 16 hours. And sometimes at, there are periods in our life where it just doesn't make sense, where we're not going to have the opportunity to do what we need to do to eat better. We're not going to have the opportunity to exercise more. Or we're, it's not the right place in our life to be expanding our career. Or maybe it's not the best way in which to sit down and really dig into those deep problems with our spouse. It's just not the time to open up that can of worms, right? And But it will come around. Here's the good news. There is divine timing, and your internal guidance system knows all the things in your life that are really important for your soul to experience, for your the things that you're going to need for your soul to grow, for you to become the being that you want to be at the end of your life. And it's paying attention to that as it's giving you your openings and closings, I promise I've been doing this for 23 years. Cross my heart. It is paying attention to all the things that your soul needs to accomplish. And opening to opening to opening throughout your whole day, it's giving you the guidance you need to make that happen. And so when the time comes for you to exercise, when the time comes for you to advance your career, when the time comes to feed your family better, when the time comes for you to work on your patience and to become a nicer, <laughs> calmer person, your IGS will guide you to the right books, the right teachers, the right moments, the right desire. That opening will be there. In the meantime, get rid of the shoulds that someone's piled on you and made you made it difficult for you to experience your life in a joyful, joyful way. Go after the ones that open you as a desire and relax. There's a lot more life left and you're going to be okay. I just want you to be joyful all along the way. And this is just one more way to do that. All right, this is Zen Cryer to Brooke. Please pass this along if you know somebody who needs this message. I'm really grateful to have everybody sharing this. I love the new people that are coming on board. Thank you for writing in. Um, you can reach me through my contact page at zeninamoment.com. I love, 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 love hearing from you. And if you hit reply on the email that you got, sent this that was sent to you, at least if it was sent from my address, you will reach me there too. In the meantime, I am sending you love and blessings. <laughs>